Richard Branson's Virgin Galactic launches the first ever mother and daughter duo into space, as well as NASA's Ingenuity helicopter enters emergency mode mid-flight on the planet Mars. More exciting things just like this coming up on this episode of Space News. Hey there everybody, it's Nick from the Orbital Alliance and here are some of the top things that eclipsed the space headlines of the week. First up, let's talk about Virgin Galactic. Now, Richard Branson, who has other companies known as Virgin Airlines or Virgin Mobile, all sorts of different entities, has a commercial space flight company called Virgin Galactic. And they actually operate out of a spaceport in New Mexico called Spaceport America. Now, their focus is to get as many people into space as possible. You can actually purchase tickets to ride on the VSS Unity spacecraft, which is essentially a rocket plane. And they try to get people into suborbital space, which is basically a space hop. You don't go around the Earth, you kind of just go up into space and come back down. Now, they have taken a very long and careful time to get ready to launch citizens, not astronauts of NASA or any other space agency, but normal everyday citizens into space. And it's had its bumps along the way, but they're finally moving forward. They've launched two crews now aboard VSS Unity, and just this week, they launched Galactic Zero Two, or Galactic Two, containing a whole host of milestones for the spaceflight industry. So let me share those with you here. Now, Virgin Galactic shared this image online and it says, here are all the milestones. This mission contained the most women to fly to space in a single mission. It also included the first mother-daughter duo to go to space, the sixth and seventh black women to go to space, the youngest person to go to space, the first Olympian to go to space, the second person with Parkinson's to go to space, and the third oldest person to go to space. I mean, can you believe it? In one mission, all of those milestones were tackled. It just goes to prove that every time we do a space flight, whether it's from NASA or Virgin Galactic or Blue Origin, that something exciting is happening all the time. So Virgin Galactic actually ended up hosting a contest to take somebody to space for the first time. And they ended up selecting a woman from the island of Antigua. And I actually had to do a little bit of learning here because I always thought it was pronounced Antigua, uh, which is of course how you might read it. But listening to the interviews online, it actually is pronounced Antigua. So I learned something, maybe you can too. So this woman, Keisha Shahoff and her daughter, Anastasia Mayers were actually selected to go on this mission. And being from the island of Antigua, they're the first women ever from there and the first people ever from Antigua to go to space. So that was just a huge first. But the fact that they were able to just take two of them at a time, they selected a mother and daughter and they ended up making history in multiple ways just from them alone. So that was really exciting to see this week. And we have an official update regarding Boeing's Starliner spacecraft, which was originally slated to take its test flight crew to the International Space Station this year of 2023. Unfortunately, it has been pushed back to March of 2024. Now, some of the issues that Boeing has been facing are weak connection points for the parachutes inside the spacecraft, as well as a tape used on the wiring harnesses that ended up being flammable. They need to replace all of that. So they pulled it back and they've actually been working on this for the past couple months, and it's clearly gonna take more time for them to remedy those problems. Now, they've just given this window of March, 2024. They've not actually set a specific launch date. So astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams, the test pilots, will have to wait until they announce the official date to know when they're going back to the space station. So we're crossing our fingers for you both. Hopefully you'll get to fly soon. And lastly for this week, let's talk about Ingenuity, the helicopter that is actually flying missions on the planet Mars. Now, this helicopter was actually deployed to the surface of Mars from Perseverance, the Mars 2020 rover that landed on the surface of Mars on February 18th, 2021. Now, the purpose of Ingenuity is to test and practice how to fly aircraft inside the atmosphere of another planet. 
Now, of course, Mars only has about 1% the density of atmosphere that Earth does. So pushing off the ground is significantly more difficult with any type of aircraft than it is here on Earth. There's more air to create lift with on Earth than there is on Mars. So ingenuity has been paramount in telling us that it is possible to fly on another planet. Now, the reason Ingenuity has reached headlines this week is because of an anomaly it detected during its 53rd flight on the Martian surface. The small helicopter actually detected an inconsistency in some of the imagery that it was taking, which triggered a series of preset land now functions on the helicopter, forcing it to land safely so that the crew back here on Earth can assess the problem before it flies again. Now here's a quote from one of the team leads at JPL, Jet Propulsion Laboratory, and what he has to say about it. Since the very first flight, we have included a program called Land Underscore Now. That was designed to put the helicopter on the surface as soon as possible if any one of a few dozen off-nominal scenarios was encountered. During Flight 53, we encountered one of these, and the helicopter worked as planned and executed an immediate landing. Now, this quote is from Teddy Zanidos, who's one of the team leads at NASA JPL. While we hoped to never trigger a land now, this flight is a valuable case study that will benefit future aircraft operating on other worlds. The team is working to better understand what occurred in Flight 53, and with Flight 54's success, we're confident that our baby is ready to keep soaring ahead on Mars. Now, this is why scientists and engineers are basically modern day wizards, because they can take something like this, an anomaly that might be considered a problem, and actually turn it into a huge opportunity to learn how to advance humanity in the world of space exploration. So JPL is doing amazing work, and we will be paying close attention to Ingenuity and its mission as it continues to fly on the Martian surface. And there you have it. There's another exciting week of space news in the books. Let me know in the comments, would you fly with Virgin Galactic aboard VSS Unity? I know I would. If you missed last week's space news, you can watch right here. And so you don't miss next week's, be sure you're subscribed. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all on the other side.